Now, as you can see on the turntable, I did purchase this about two years ago, and I used it for about five minutes and just stopped using it. But now that I got this set up the way it does, the turntable actually works perfect, okay? So what I want to do is I want to talk about these particular figures that I have so far based on uh, the NECA version of the Yaucha or the Predators in this case. Uh, I have a total of four figures, and I just ordered three more, and I will tell you what they are. Uh, the one is the actual city uh, city hunter from the second movie. I've been one one of those. He's a very cool looking predator. I will do a figure review on that once it comes in. And I also got a double pack with one with the bad blood, and I think the other one's called the enforcer predator. Uh, there is reviews out there showing you those uh, particular figures, and they look absolutely amazing. And so I got all three of them coming in. Now, how soon it comes in, I do not know. But once it comes in, we are going to do a figure review. So in the meantime, with this guy here, what I'm going to do is just kind of talk about these guys. If you want to know anything about the figures in themselves, the articulation, um, different interesting facts about it, I do have reviews sitting in my playlist with all my sci-fi toys and stuff like that. So um, you can go ahead and check it out if you want to know a little bit more about these figures. I did these about a year ago. But in the meantime, this one here, I was under the impression that it was Celtic. Okay, because I got it a year ago and I kind of forgot. Let me tell you why. Because of this mask right here. Right here, right there. I don't know if you can see the focus on it or not. Hang on, let me just do what these other people do. There you go. Kind of like that. But anyway. Alright, hang on for a second here. Alright, we're coming in. There you go. Boof. Alright. Anyway, I was uh, thinking it was Celtic, but it's not. It's actually Scar. But it's the concrete jungle version of it. Alright, he's completely dressed, completely different than what he actually dressed in the movie itself. Uh, a Aliens versus uh, Predator. Which came out in 2004. And he's the one that actually survived out of the other uh, three, two. Uh, the other two uh, met their demise through Grid. Who's uh, a xenomorph. And he was a badass. And he, and he took out both those uh, predators. He's the only one that survived. But he had to deal with the queen. And at the same time he did get impregnated. By one of the face huggers. So by the time he was on the ship. That's when we saw the pred alien. Uh, I came out of his body and you know grew and all that stuff and that's when we dealt with my all-time favorite uh, Version of the predator hands down my favorite is the wolf predator or wolf earth, okay, and I do have one of them I have the open face version uh, I might sometime down the line, uh, you know order a, a, a closed face uh, version of the wolf wolf predator uh, But right now I got the open face and we're going to show you that too in a second, but in the meantime this one here. Uh, is actually a scar concrete jungle version and I'm also looking forward to that uh, city hunter coming in uh, That's from the second movie. I want to definitely check that out and do a figure review on all those three uh, figures itself Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pause the video and set up the other figures and go through them Okay But I just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten so far the xenomorphs I do have roughly like 20 figures on them because that's my, uh, I prefer that franchise over Predator. Uh, not because they're better movies, but because I just love the Xenomorphs. They're the perfect weapon, in my opinion. Uh, and they can take out Predators and everything. But Predators, they're a thinking machine. Uh, not machine, but they're thinking uh, species. And, you know, they handle them like, like they're toys. You know what I'm saying? They're a challenge to them. So, Predators in themselves, they, they like... They deal with their honor, and at the same time, they like to hunt dangerous species. Now, that's the whole thing about Yalcha in itself. But anyway, this here is Scar, the concrete jungle version of it. It is a NECA figure that's roughly standing around maybe an eight and a half inches tall. And as you can see, his panel right there on his left arm does open up, and it does close. He also has other accessories, like that big long blade. I don't know the name of these. And he's got other weapons too, and he's also got his plasma caster down there on the ground, and a replacement head. 
you know this one had a lot of accessories it also has uh, two small hands if you want to replace the hands too but in the meantime that's enough about him we're gonna move on to the next figure and I will see you guys in just one second okay as you can see spinning on the actual turntable it is a xenomorph that's right a xenomorph <laughs> no it's a yaucha okay or yaucha as they properly pronounce it yaucha right, yaucha uh, yaucha is easy enough to uh, pronounce but anyway uh, it's a predator but it's based off of the alien versus uh, predator movie from 2004 they did a series a line of uh, figures and he's not in the movie and he does not have a name either not to my knowledge if you guys know his name he is a young blood okay uh, leave a comment below so we know his name but I can't find his name anywhere but uh, but he actually was one of the uh, first ones to kill a xenomorph and he's gone through various training and he's kind of like an elite trainer he trains other young bloods and they go through their trials before they go through their trials he prepares them and stuff that's his main job but anyway as you can clearly see, uh, it does come with the spear, uh, speared uh, xenomorph head. And as you can see, it's broke, okay? Because what happened is I, when I first purchased this about a year ago, I had it on my stand. And my stands, I got two bookshelves that are 5x5 five five that I built, okay? When you walk into the room, they have, or if you bump into them, they will knock everything over. And that's exactly what happened with this one here. It fell to the ground. Most of my predators, they fall to the ground because they don't properly stand up unless you put them in a proper uh, position. And that's real tricky sometimes. So as you can see, I do have them sitting on a base. You can buy them things online and it works perfectly, okay? Uh, but anyway, it fell and it broke the staff, okay? I glued it uh, with Gorilla Glue, but because the surface and the thinness of the staff, it's kind of hard. I'm going to re-glue it again and just leave it laying on the shelf. But I got to give, I give it a chance to really dry. Okay, but outside of that, I still have the other piece, so I will glue it again. It also comes with a plasma caster uh, cannon. Uh, it does have one of those, but it does have two wrist blades. It's one of the uh, predators that I've seen that actually has two wrist blades. Most of them uh, only has one uh, wrist blade, but then they, on the other hand, they have that communicator. Uh, or whatever you want to call that thing. But anyway, he's got those. But this guy don't have that uh, communicator. Maybe because he's uh, a trainer or something like that. But one thing it does say that it does have, it comes with a sword, okay? And I'm like, mine didn't come with a sword. And I just realized not even a minute ago that it's right here. I'll show you where it's at. Right there. I forgot I put it back into its uh, holster. And didn't realize it had a holster until I just started looking at it. It's like, that's where the knife's at. But anyway, it comes with all this kind of stuff. Uh, it comes with the plasma caster. Uh, it doesn't come with um, a detachable head with a different uh, face. It doesn't come with that. Uh, but this one here is a very cool looking color scheme. It's got a very silver color scheme to it. Uh, the dreadlocks, clearly they're traditional to most um, predators and stuff. But it does come with um, other things. Uh, along his holster there he's got a lot of stuff along his holster and he's got um, stuff laying on you know the, the usual stuff for predators and stuff I will tell you this about predators um, they are very cool to collect the movies are cool but I am a uh, alien fan bigger fan than predator uh, I love the xenomorphs because I think they're a perfect weapon uh, and they in uh, AVP they actually took out two predators grid did uh, he was a tough one, okay? I will tell you that they are badass, okay? The Xenomorphs are. But the Predators, are they're cool in their own way, too, and they're very cool to collect because each and every one of them have their own individuality, uh, the way they're dressed up and everything, and their faces are different sometimes if you get ones without the face. But it does come with that mask. Now, this one here is from my Concrete Jungle version. Okay, it's very similar to the one he's wearing now, Okay except his has got blue eyes and i will show you that one uh not the concrete jungle i mean the uh the jungle hunter okay i'm sorry about that but anyway uh, that's my young blood 
okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and move on to my other two um, predators I will save the best for last and that's the wolf predator that is my all-time favorite that one is absolutely badass looking uh, sideshow collectibles they actually did one based on a bust of the uh, wolf predator and they literally sculpted by hand this thing it, it runs close to a thousand dollars for it but it's fucking ridiculously detailed it's ridiculous how beautiful this thing looks if i had the money i can guarantee you i would be doing a review on it right now as we speak but that is a little out of my price range but anyway the wolf predator is a very cool looking um uh predator he's one of the ugliest ones in my opinion okay because he's missing a mandible and he's got acid uh, on his left side we'll talk about him in a second in the meantime we're going to go ahead and jump into the jungle hunter okay and i'll see you guys in a second here now as you can see this is the jungle hunter it's the very first predator in the very first movie that came out in 1987 now as you can see on the stand itself it does come with two separate hands it comes with a spine and skull along with a separate skull but it also comes with a face mask and a separate uh, mask in, in itself too um now i'm not sure if that mask actually goes there or not it could be my that's not my wolf predator i don't think i don't think he does no this is no it's not anyway uh, i think it's part of this uh this one here but let me check this out hang on for a second here i'm gonna look at these guys and compare them yeah they are one and the same no actually they're not yes they are yeah they're the they're the ex exact same sorry okay i just wanted to make sure i got the right pieces together because when you get these NECA figures you get a ton fuck full of pieces right <clears throat> and it is what it is uh but anyway as you can see uh this is the jungle hunter he's highly decorated okay and he also comes with a plasma caster and he's got a bunch of stuff around his uh suit and armor um his uh design and color schemes are a little bit different than these other ones and that's <clears throat> not sure why but it also has a communicator on its uh, right wrist there and the way it's built as you can see when it comes around again it comes with the wrist blades but it's got a cable system to the communicator up to the shoulder see that it's got some cool elements about this i've been wanting this one for a while and i got it like six months ago maybe and it, the way it's dressed and everything the side plates on the legs it is completely different that is for sure okay but everything you see here usually comes with if it's the um uh the jungle hunter it should be what do they call it the ultimate jungle hunter that's what this one is okay because it comes with all these accessories okay the standard one not so much okay you just get the figure and maybe a few pieces but this one's comes with a lot okay and you can see it's got the skull and the uh the spine set up and everything but it is a very cool looking piece okay so what i'm going to do right there is i'm going to stop it right here and then i'm going to show you my all-time favorite version i had the open face or the open mask uh version of the wolf predator so i'll see you guys in a second here hello and welcome back as you can see I am showing you my all-time favorite predator it is the wolf predator or they call it wolf earth because he's you know the only time you actually see him is in the movie aliens versus predator requiem he comes down because you know, obviously he got a signal from a down ship and he came and realized that there was in fact a pred alien that came from uh, the down ship and the reason this thing came into creation was Scar in the uh, second or the movie before that, when he was fighting the uh, alien queen, he ended up dying, and they took him on the ship, and the chest burster came out, and it had mandibles, uh, as well as you know like uh, an alien uh, kind of look about it, but then it grew into a pred alien, and it crash landed, and he had to go after it. Now with wolf predator he is a cleaner he is classified as a cleaner he is a very elite warrior now the thing about this uh pred alien as you can see let me see if i can move this up a little bit no i can't okay but anyway 
Um, there is some images that show that on the left side of his face, as you can see it going by, I don't know if you can actually see it or not, it is completely acid uh, torn because of um, he had a, a fight with a xenomorph and some of the acid got on his face. But at the same time, he ended up losing his uh, top uh, left mandible. Okay. This is a very cool looking uh, predator. I will. He's one ugly motherfucker. Okay. Literally. When uh, Dutch says, you are one ugly motherfucker. Well, this is one ugly motherfucker. Okay. There is Sideshow Collectibles who actually did a, um, uh, a sculpt of it. A head bust. And I've mentioned this earlier. Uh, they did an amazing job. It was literally hand sculpted. And this thing is like anywhere from $800. It's pushed over to $1,200 just for this bust. Okay, this is how detailed it is. But it is expensive, okay? But anyway, this particular guy right here, okay? He's a one-hitter. He came down to Earth and he was fighting the Pred Alien. And it impaled him with its tail. And he did some major damage to it too. Uh, but at the same time, he ended up dying because he ended up dropping a nuke and wiping out the Colorado. You know, wiping everything out, all the xenomorphs and stuff. And they had to do what they had to do. Okay, but anyway. Uh, this guy right here, the weapons, as you can see, he does have a whip. He's got a shuriken, okay. Uh, the actual blue atomic, not atomic, but it's like a blast for the um, uh, plasma caster. I don't think it belongs to this one. It's probably one of the other ones that I've shown you. I just threw it up there because it was the last piece. But it does come with two pl uh, plasma casters, as you can see, okay? I don't have them on his back, uh, but uh, it is equipped with two of them. Now, the way that he looks, uh, the color scheme, he's very similar to that of the Jungle Hunter. He's very old school, okay? I will tell you that. But it is a very cool looking figure, okay? Now, the main reason I did this video, and I think I said this earlier in the video, is because I just ordered three more NECA versions of the uh, the Alcha or the Predators. And I will do some figure reviews based on those. I end up getting uh, a standard version of the uh, the City uh, Hunter, which is from the uh, the second movie, Predator, Predator 2. Sorry about that. I will do a figure review on that. And there's also a double pack with uh, the... Right, the Enforcer, there we go, and Bad Blood, okay? I would definitely check them out. There are some videos out there with these here if you want to check out their figure reviews. Uh, but I will do mine once I get it in. I'm not sure how quick it's going to come in, but I just ordered them today, okay? Just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten so far when it comes to the collection. Because I haven't collected uh, Predator because I said to myself, they are a little bit more pricier than most uh, figures out there. But at the same time, I like certain amount of uh, Predators. But uh, now that I ordered these extra three, I'm going to slowly build it up again. I wasn't going to collect at first, but then I, I changed my mind. So yeah, I do like Predator. I like collecting these NECA figures. And NECA has definitely come into its own. All right? When it comes to highly detailed figures here, they are ridiculous in the way they handle these figures. Um, SH Monster Arts X Plus and all those for kaiju type stuff. They do an amazing job, but they are ridiculously expensive, okay? These guys are closer to most people's price ranges, and they are absolutely badass looking. McFarlane Toys, he's done um, a lot of that. Well, that toy line, they've done a lot of xenomorphs, and I've got a few of them. I got a grid alien, I also got um, another alien, I can't remember. I think it's from the first movie, second movie, maybe. But anyway, I got some cool looking aliens too from McFarlane. But I also got at least 20 of the uh, NECA figures on Xenomorphs. Because they are my favorite franchise when it comes to in between these two uh, figures here. Okay, But the Wolf Predator, as you can see, he is absolutely amazing. This is the open face or the uh, the no mask or the open mask version. I don't know what you want to call it, but... I am thinking about getting the mask version of the Wolf Predator because I like the mask. And I do have a full-size uh, mask based on the Wolf Predator. It's sitting right behind this blue screen. I just don't want to dig it out. Uh, it's one of those cheap $5 uh, Halloween masks. But it does look good on the shelf, okay? I will tell you that. I got it from Wish.com. Anyway, I'm going to end this here and show you what I had so far. Once I get the other ones in, we will do some toy reviews on that or some figure reviews on that. 
In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next video.